everyone yesterday class we discussed what is the overview of accounts payable and accounts receivable especially we focus on accounts payable and uh, today let's try to start the configuration so this is the phenomena everyone this is the phenomena first we will create vendor accounts group then later we will create number rangers and this accounts group and assign number rangers then we will create bp groups and number rangers we will assign accounts group 2 and bp groups then similarly and we will assign under the bp group we will create the bp then here we will set up document type and number ranges based on this we will post document entries based on the document entries we will generate the reports this is exactly flow of accounts payable same way accounts receivable also here we will create customer accounts group and number ranges then this is we are going to assign with bp group then under the bp group we will create the customers and based on the customer we will post the document entries if you want to post the document entries we need to set up document type and number ranges and document type and number ranges this document type and number ranges will reflect it during the document entry posting based on the document entry posting we will generate the reports clear clear everyone up to here overview yes sir yes so now let's start the configuration let's start the configuration the first one accounts payable configuration my dear students Accounts payable configuration. First one, first one, define BP number ranges. Define BP number ranges. Then define BP group and assign number ranges. So, first, what is the first objective here? What is the first objective here, everyone? Define BP, where, where it is, where it went. First, this one define number ranges, then later create BP groups and assign BP group to number ranges. This is the target. How to achieve this target? Very simple, everyone. This is the path, my dear students. This is the path. Let's go to this path. Listen, listen, just listen. Okay, define number ranges, SPRO, cross application component, business partner, SAP business partner and business partner, basic setting and number ranges. Everyone, note it on one note, note it on one note everyone. During the number range creation, during the number range creation, in case, in case, if you received any overloop errors, In case if you received any overloop errors, we can use existing number range, not required to create new entry. Noted? Okay? 
So here my intention is let's create the number ranges. In case during the number range creation, if you received any overloop errors, why overloop errors will come means all the students will using same server. Maybe sometimes same uh, username and password also. So a lot of people will be creating the number ranges. Okay, so that is the reason you people receive the overloop errors. So in the real time that error won't come. Okay, so either you can create new entry, otherwise you can use existing number range. Already somebody is created now, that number range you can use. So what is the path? This is the path everyone. SPRO, financial, sorry, cross application component, SAP business partner, business partner, basic setting, number range and grouping. Okay, this is the one. And let's go to SAP. Let's go to SAP. Go to SPRO, enter, SAP reference IMG, Select your cross application component, SAP business partner. Where is that SAP, SAP business partner? Go down in the last minute. No, sir, no, sir. starting. Top, sir, in top. Top, top. Top no, only, no. no, sir, no, no. Come to down, sir. Payment cards, SAP business, IS. Yes. Sir, payment cards below, no? SAP wait, business wait, wait. partner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And SAP business partner, again business partner, basic settings here and uh, here everyone, number ranges and grouping. Here, define number ranges and define grouping and assign number ranges. This, these two steps everyone, these two steps. So this is the two steps, first two steps. This is the first two steps, okay? And uh, you just double click on define number ranges, double click on this, and here, click on your interval here, change interval. So some we already created uh, this uh, number ranges everyone. I mean, some other students already created from this number to this number. For example, everyone, lot of people will create a number ranges now from this number to this number like this. So we want to understand, we want to understand, you can take any sequence, do one thing everyone, here you people want to understand, lot of students is created some number ranges, this number to this number range like that. Now, still, which number ranges is available? If you click on your steps, if you click on your steps, free intervals, click on your OK, OK. No free intervals, sir. Maybe all are used up. You can take any sequence, everyone. Let's try to create new. Take any sequence. Guys, please close the server. Uh, take any sequence. Example, let's take this one, everyone. Here, take any sequence. I'm taking this sequence. Click on your new entry. Click on your new entry. For example, domestic BP, right? Uh, one is uh, BD. Set up here any two digit. It may be numerical or it may be alphabets. Now I'm taking 271000271999. Press enter. Then click on your save. Then click on your add. Next one. Next one foreign. Huh? What is that? Foreign, right? Foreign BP group foreign bp group set up here any two digit write the number range this you can take any number range you can take any number range otherwise you can use existing number also no problem in case if you received any overloop errors 
you can take existing number range okay i am taking bf and business partner foreign group and 272000 272999 enter and click on here one more inventory event. inventory business group bi 273 Zero 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 two seven three nine nine nine. Click on your add service business group BS two seven four zero 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 two seven four nine nine nine. And one time add two seven five. Hare Krishna. B O two seven five zero 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 two seven five two seven five nine nine nine. Enter and save. Enter and save. So this is the we created everyone. The domestic business group, foreign business group, inventory business group and uh, service business group and one time business group this many business see here everything here you people want to ask one question actually sir here same domestic vendor foreign vendor inventory vendor service vendor one time vendor same type of business groups i created you people want to ask one question Sir, for what base you are creating these groups? For what is the base you are creating these groups? Everyone, for example, let us assume you are the Delight employee. Example, you are the Delight employee as a consultant. You are implementing BM group of company. BM group of company. So you want to contact your, your client. You want to set up calls. You want to set up Zoom calls, Skype calls. And sometimes you people directly visit client office, on-site visit like that. There you want to collect the information. How many types of vendors available in your company? How many types of vendors available on your company? What type of transaction they will do? Some vendors we will do service. Some vendor we will do inventory. Some vendors in foreign. Some vendors in domestic. So you can contact your client. Your client will be tell you how many types of vendors. Service vendor, one-time vendor, like uh, inventory vendor. Even some people decide raw material vendor, finished goods vendor. Like what type of vendors they do transaction. For each type, each type you can create one accounts group. Each type you can create one accounts group. Then you want to ask one question again. Sir, why I want to create this many? I can create only one group. Only one group. Is this okay? Only one group. Is this okay? Yes, it is okay. No problem. For example, I can create only one group. BM vendor groups. BM vendor group. Vendor group. If you create only one group, what is the wrong? There is a, nothing is wrong. But if you create it like this, if you create it like this, the system will generate the reports. If you create only one, then system will show only one report. BM vendor group. That's it. But if you create it like this, then a client will generate the, uh, uh, segregate the report. How much transaction happened? Inventory vendors. 
how many transactions happened in inventory vendor? How much transactions happened in service vendor? How much transactions happened in domestic vendor? If you created like this, for each vendor type, if you created one group, then they can feel free to generate the reports. If you created only one, then here also only one, then they, they are unable to uh, classify the reports. For the reporting purpose, for each vendor type, you can create one group. Then you can create one number range. On that number range, trans and master data will going to create. Even we can generate the reports. Clear so far? Clear? Everyone? Yes, no? Yes. 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 Okay. So, for example, your client will be confirmed. How much... I mean, which type of vendors is available? Which type of customers is available? For each type, you can create one uh, accounts group and one number ranges. For that level, we will create master data. That level, we will generate the reports like that. Anyway, we creating, we successfully number ranges. Then we will create uh, accounts group, sorry, BP group, then assign BP group to number ranges. Then later we will create vendor groups, then we will later create the number ranges, assign this and assign that mapping. Let's do that. Then we successfully created number range. In case if you face any problem during the number ranges, simply you can use existing number ranges, not required to create new. Click on your save and back. The next one, define groupings and assign number ranges. Define grouping and uh, assign number ranges. You just uh, double click on this execute button and click on your new entry. Set up here any name and write the description, short name and long name. Example, uh, BM, BD, BM, uh, BP domestic group, domestic group, otherwise uh, VB domestic group. What is that? BM, uh, do one thing, BP, right? Maybe vendor or customer. BG, BP group, domestic group or whatever. BP group, BP group for domestic. For domestic. And what is the number range, everyone? For domestic, B, D, B, D, yeah? What number range we created? BD, 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 enter, again, it is repetition, BM. group, again, group, group, ah, uh, sir, in description, GP, again, group, group, group is double, no, yeah. server, sorry, um, in the long, long name, I am talking about description, BM, BP, hmm. group, then again, group of domestic, no, You can write you can write like that, okay? Let it be description, anything. Okay. Uh, BP uh, business partner. I'll, I mean grouping. Okay. Okay, for your satisfaction. Okay. Happy? Okay, sir. Okay. okay. And uh, I like uh, again BM B. F example B M B F B G here any name everyone naming convention whatever um, how you are like that way you can and B G and F G here B M B P 
group of foreign group of foreign and here what is the number range we created for foreign groups b yes yeah. f okay bf enter then bm bi bm eg ig pm bp group Hare Krishna. Group of inventory. Inventory and B I R. What is that? B I R. You set up. Yes, and one more B M. B yes. B M B G. And uh, yes, G BM BP group of service. Service and what is that? BS, sir. BS. BS, yes, okay, sir. Thank you. And BM, one more, sir. Um, BO, one time BM BG and OG. <laughs> BM, BP, yes. group of one time. One time, okay. And here BO, right? B, O. Here, everyone, either you can create, you can assign your number range. Otherwise, click on your browse, you can assign any number range. You can take any existing number range like this, okay? Any number range you can assign, no problem. Okay, be careful. But we created specific now. That is the reason we are assigning our one. Example, BO like that. Yeah, yeah. This is a number range we are assigning. Press enter. And save. And save. Okay, click on here, save and back. This is our group. Okay. Click on your save and back. The next one, next configuration steps. Next configuration step. Here we want to create define accounts group with the screen layout and create number ranges. Define accounts group with the screen layout. Sir, what is the use of screen layout? What is the use of screen layout and number ranges? And assign number range to accounts group. Try to understand up to these three steps, everyone. First, we will create accounts group. Later, we will create number ranges. Then later, assign or map our number range to accounts group. So here you will find one new description with the screen layout. What is the use of screen layout here? What is the use of screen layout? Screen layout means, everyone, concentrate here. Screen layout means during the BP creation, during the BP creation, which field is optional, which field is suppressed, which field is required, which field is display, you can control by here. During the BP or vendor, whatever, both are same. Um, for your understanding purpose, I'm repeating once again. Accounts group with the screen layout means during the vendor creation, you can control the master data fields. Vendor creation means one master data creation. We can control that fields. During the vendor creation, which field is required, which field is optional, which field is display, which field is surprise. You can control by here. You can control by here. Example. Define 
accounts group this is the vendor accounts group t code is called obd3 define gl accounts group what is the t code gl accounts group anyone remember obd4 obd4 very good obd4 is the define gl accounts group obd3 is a define vendor accounts group vendor accounts group okay so this is the path and this is the number range and assign number range to accounts group okay such a simple everyone try to understand the configuration how simple okay the next everyone this is the path i mean this is the path everyone either you can go to this t code this is the path spro financial accounting and accounts receivable, I mean, accounts receivable and payable, vendor accounts, master data, preparation for creating vendor master data, then define accounts group with the screen layout. Okay. And go to that path, everyone. Go to SPRO, enter SAP reference IMG, select your financial accounting and uh, accounts payable and receivable and here are suppliers suppliers means vendor accounts Hare Krishna. supplier accounts master data preparation for creating supplier master data this one define accounts group with the screen layout this one and uh, which one next one this one create number ranges for vendor accounts the next one assign number ranges for vendor accounts group okay so these three steps everyone you want to create first one define accounts group double click your new entry set up here any four digit and write the description okay my four digit is example PM DV, BM domestic vendors and double click on company code data, double click on accounts management. So here, this is the fields available in during the vendor creation for each field, which field is required, which field is optional, which field is display, which field is suppressed. You can controlled by here. Example reconciliation account. I will make it as a required. Short key. I will make it as a required. You can contact your client. Your client will be tell you. During the vendor creation. Which field is required. Which field is optional. Go on mute Sarji. I will give you time to ask the questions. Your client will be confirmed. Uh, your client will be confirmed which field is optional which field is required so here you can control okay based on this even for example one step back even payment transactions this is the fields terms of payment is required one step back one step back here general data and address and all name and address such term district region like this which field is optional which field is suppressed for which field this is a document entry field or master data creation field anyone which field it is master data creation master, master, data. master data. data creation master data creation okay click on your save and back Then click on your next one more one more wait in case of any doubts please note it down aside i will give you time to ask the doubts first listen what i will explain first listen if you properly listen automatically your doubt will going to clear otherwise i will give you time to ask the doubts in between don't disturb nagesh please note it down aside i will give you time that time only you want to ask one more 
otherwise other people will going to disturb that is my intention and the other way one more bm foreign vendor bm foreign vendors vendor group or whatever foreign vendors group or vendors whatever click on your company code data accounts management you can see example i am putting like this okay and, uh, payment transaction terms of payment is required and say example i am putting like this but, but in the real time your client will be telling for that only you will make it as a required optional surplus like that click on your next set up here any four digit bm iv bm uh, inventory vendors double click on company code data reconciliation account is required short key is required one step back payment transaction terms of payment is required and save then next are you able to hear my voice yes no okay yes sir next bm sv bm uh, service vendor vendors okay not vendor it's a vendors double click on company code data accounts management reconciliation account is required and short key is required one step back payment transaction terms of payment is required and save the last one the next bm ov bm one time vendor one time vendors this is the groups actually okay vendors under this group we will in the ecc directly under this group we will create the vendors but in s4 hana this group we are going to map in the business groups bp groups this vendor group we are going to map in the business partner groups under the business partner group we will create the bp okay and one time vendor group as usual select here one time account and uh, you can click on directly save not required anything okay in save only this is the one do you want to write or not required do you want to write everyone we will write it sir please note it Then yes, click on your save and back. The next one, create number ranges. Create number ranges. Okay. Create number ranges. And uh, wait for until sixth step. After that, I will give you time to ask the questions. Okay. <laughs> create number ranges. So what is number ranges? Even here also, everyone. In case if you face any overloop errors, in case if you face any overloop errors during the number range creation, better you can assign existing number ranges. Okay. Don't create in case if you face any errors. Double click on create number ranges. Click on your change intervals. So either you can assign standard number ranges, otherwise you can create your own. 
बेटर आई विल टेक फोर फोर समबडी यूज्ड अ If here if you click on here this one everyone free intervals here system will show actually what number range is available up to now example this number range is available eight nine is available eight nine zero 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 is available let's take this one system will show what number range is free now available somebody use some number range now if you click on these tabs again it won't come up. Okay, it will show us only once. Otherwise, go back, go back again. Come again. Click on your change interval. Click on your steps. Okay, yeah. So this is the number ranges is available. In case if you want to use this number ranges, you can create. This is the number ranges used. This is the number ranges is not used. In case if you want to use this, you can use it. For example, here available eight nine is available eight nine zero 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 two something is available, so you can use it. For example, here again, click on here plus. So here I can use set up here any two digit and number ranges, even any two digit. It may be numerical or it may be alphabets. Same two digit also say no problem. For example, not same in here. Okay. For example, I'm set up same for BP group like that. B, uh, BD, example domestic uh, something. Um, what is eight nine is available, right? Eight nine zero 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 eight nine zero nine nine nine. And uh, also nine nine all are nine nine. Ah, you can. I mean, in, in between you can take anyone. In between you can take anyone, sir. And uh, eight nine one zero 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 eight nine one nine 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 like that. Press enter and save. Click on your add and uh, B I eight nine. Eight nine two zero 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 eight nine two nine nine nine. Enter and add B S eight nine three zero 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 eight nine three nine nine nine. Enter then add ah uh, eight nine sorry. B O eight nine four zero 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 eight nine four nine nine nine. Enter and save. If I go down, so this is the one domestic, foreign, inventory, service, and one bank. Click on and save one bank. The next one example, everyone. You can tell me uh, what is the accounts group for my domestic BM DV? Yeah, BM DV four digit I set up now. BM DV DV or what is that VD? You noted BM DV VD 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 yeah BM VD right? And what is the number range I created BD? So this is accounts group, accounts group, and this is the number range. Number range. So I want to assign my accounts group to number range, like this. Next step is assign accounts group to number range. Next one, BM, V, F, B, F, and BM, uh, V. Is this correct, everyone? V. I BM uh, FSR. Huh? 
Click on your position, enter BM, this one. BM, DV, BM, FV, IV, OV, SV, like this. This is the accounts group. And here you can assign the number ranges. B, D. Otherwise, in case if you are not created any number ranges, you can assign standard number ranges. Click on your browse here, here. Click on your browse, you can assign any number ranges. In case if you face any issue during the number range creation. But I created my own, so that is the reason I can assign B D B F B I B S and B O like that. Okay, B D I am assigning foreign B F and one time B I and sorry inventory B I one time B O and service B S. Clear, everyone? What I am doing? Are you understood? Yes, sir. Click on your save and back. Click on your save and back. The next one is very important one step. Very important step, everyone. Next one. What is this? Define, def, define number to assign for direct in BP. Sir, what is this? What I want to do here? what i want to do here so, but the naming convention is very different but you are see here what we need to do example here we want to do vendor and customer integration with bp so what i want to do everyone here what i want to do i need to assign i need to assign my vendor group with my BP group, vendor group with my BP group, I want to assign like this. For example, for example, everyone, what is my uh, BP group, everyone? Domestic, BM, uh, BD, uh, something. Yes? BD, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, let's do that. Let's go that path, I will check. BM, you note not noted, huh? Let it be. Let's go that path, everyone. This is the path, everyone. SPRO, financial, I mean, cross application component, master data synchronization, customer and vendor integration with BP group, business partner setting, and setting for vendor integration from whom for the business partner. And field assignment for vendor integration and assign keys and define to assign for direction of BP. So concentrate it, everyone. This is the path. Concentrate here. Go to SPRO, enter SAP reference IMG. Select your um, cross application component. Here you want to go master data synchronize. Here everyone. Master data synchronize, elaborate it. Here you want to go vendor and customer integration. Vendor and customer integration. And here 
business partner settings then here i want to go customer integration or vendor integration what i want doing now anyone vendor, vendor integration vendor integration and here assign keys this one everyone define number assigned for direct bp vendor maybe this one i believe one second yeah this one correct only so yeah define number assigned for this one first one everyone and click on your new entry click on your new entry click on your browse for example what is the pp group everyone bmbd bmbd domestic group and what is the our accounts group bm dv bm dv domestic vendors this is the business group and this is the vendor group and let's try to understand here so what i am doing now what i am doing i am assigning our vendor group and our bp group domestic vendor to domestic bp group foreign vendor group to foreign bp group and here bm uh, bf like this bm bm f v bm bi bm iv and uh, bm bs and bm uh, sv bm uh, what is that one time right bo and bm ov note it down into Yes, no, yes. Yes, sir. People, guys, one thing. For example, for example, everyone, your BP group number range and your accounts, vendor accounts group number range. If it is same, same number range from this number to this number, then only you can click this tick mark. Otherwise, don't click on this tick mark. If you click on this, other people will face the errors. 
सर्वर विल इश्यू डिफरेंट डिफरेंट स्टूडेंट ना हाय कृष्णा आई लॉस माय डाटा बीएम बीडी बीएम डी 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 ई वी एफ ये आप आई I yes yes वो वो yeah now time to ask the questions go ahead Pravin, go ahead. Uh, this is Lakshman sir. Lakshman sir, go ahead. Uh, in uh, yes, for Anna, this business partners introduce. So, in addition to this vendor accounts group, we are creating business partner groups. So, I could not understand what is the purpose of adding these business partners because uh, still uh, in ECC, uh, only uh, under uh, vendor accounts group we can create vendors. It is very simple than this one. No? Creating mm -hmm. two groups. Huh? Mm -hmm. For example, why uh, they had uh, added means? For example, yesterday I said you know we have uh, I mean three levels of creating the master data in ECC. For example, mm -hmm. if you create uh, FK zero mm one, -hmm. creating the vendor master data at accounts level, company okay. code level, whatever. Mm. If you create vendor in XK zero one central, and if you means? create MK zero one purchase order level, I mean purchase organization level, but one same vendors during the purchasing activity. Mm. Why this many levels? Why don't only one? For all mm. are merged into one like that. Okay, sir. sir Say, vendor also. Uh, even sir, sales customers also yeah. okay yeah. customers also that is the reason they are synchronized you can see the path master data synchronized okay this is also one reason okay okay uh, yeah. here sk01 we create central level means oh, central level means I, I could not get central level means you there we will add uh, company code data purchase organizational data like that all the data in one place like that okay central means for all uh, there we can involve the uh, general data purchase organization data and company code data both are in one place central like that. okay yeah yeah what is different that, document and invoice sir during the document entry posting that doubts will discuss that time first okay. we can understand this yeah okay Next, uh, Nagesh, go ahead. Wait, we have remaining people. Wait, Nagesh is uh, in, 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 B, in BP and vendor master group uh, uh, assignment. There is one of flex group, is there? Now. What is that, sir? So, flex gives is not required now. Okay, next. So, can you put all this in G? Serial number in configuration steps in flowchart so that we can get in one page. Uh, no, no, sir. No. Uh, Answer is no. Uh, no. Because one, one flow, hey, one screen is built. Uh, <laughs> no, sir. No. And not available, let's say, like that. Here only, suppose BP and all, step one here, step two here. Uh, Answer is no. Okay, sir. My second question is that in the last yeah. class, sir, the in ECC and Esperant difference in GL creation, is there any left or is everything is over in baby for HKD, sir? It's left actually. 
in case of any other changes we will discuss okay i will second update in some more changes in gl sir right the gl changes i already explained maybe you are not there okay you can ask notes to somebody yesterday class i am talking day before yesterday you told something is pending in yesterday if it class. is any required i will tell you later in if any required i will tell otherwise not required okay so that okay. sir hi good morning sir yeah, uh, as you uncheck our vendor and um, vendor account group and this bp account group for synchronization of this number ranges ha uh, why so i uncheck this go ahead go ahead usually we see there is a uh, synchronization of both like we use single uh, number for that means a bp is created for vendor so there is only one simple number comes like so what will be the impact like if we are unchecking this see listen careful i will show you during the bp creation if you create the bp there is a two numbers were generated one is bp number one is vendor number even customer side also one is bp number one is customer number we are maintaining the number ranges na from number and to number yeah go on you i will give you time suresh ji you can down your hand let's complete explain for example two two number ranges we are creating one is for bp and one is for vendor okay the two number ranges from this number to to this number both are same for example there i created 4002 4999 here also 4002 4999 both are same then you can click on same number ranges if it is different don't click on that tick mark see during the bp creation i will show you how the number two number ranges was generated during the accounting entry posting which number i want to use like okay all right sir thank you yeah yeah Ah, uh, go ahead, Suresh. Ah, uh, go ahead, sir. Uh, from if we know the path, from the path we can know the uh, T code. Suppose I know hmm. the T code, can I go? I uh, mean, can I get the path? T code. <laughs> no, actually, directly you can search in. Uh, you will know description, right? Uh, yes. For example, if you go to SPRO and SAP Reference IMG, here directly you can enter Control F. You can write the description. Okay, the path will come. No, if I give T code, will I get the path? Uh, no, no, not uh, it won't work. Okay. Whatever naming convention is there, na directly. For example, here uh, let it be create na. This number is na create number range for vendor accounts. Ah, uh, this naming convention is there, na directly you can. use control f that uh, description you can enter click on your okay all the path will shows okay yeah next question no questions good so remaining let's see tomorrow okay so tomorrow there is class tomorrow there is a class yes answer is yes okay sir thank you yeah, yeah. thank you sir yeah thank you sir thank you sir bye <laughs>